lasagna. Uh, officer, Sorry. she's free. She can go now. Okay. Please, this here, uh, this half fine. Go along with it. All right, take care. Eh? Bye. Um. Sweet. Darling, my sweetheart. You're welcome. I'm so happy to have you back. Yes. So tell me, how was your trip? Fantastic. Father, we thank you. Oh, the Lord is good. All the time. Hey, you know our Gio is a man of honor and integrity. What do you expect from a true man of God? Uh, our Gio is actually very blessed by God. I know. Thank God I was nominated for the seminar. Really? Oh, yes. I have a lot to tell you, okay? Let me pick my bag. We go inside and I'll tell you a lot. Well, I can't wait for you to give me all the rest of the details so I can wait till inside. Just wait. Let me wait this. Oh, You're welcome. I love this car. What is keeping my husband? He called me two hours ago that they were almost close. They ought to have arrived by now. And he's not picking his calls. Ah. Oh. I hope all is well. Eh? Oh, his driver is coming. Hello? Yes, this is Queen Victoria. What? Which hospital? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I knew it. I knew something is wrong. Yes, ah, thank God. Thank God that I met you here. I was going to your house. Is, is there anything the problem? No, nothing is the problem. But something happened in my house this morning. Teresa's daughter disturbed me. Which Teresa are you talking about? My late brother's wife now. Huh? How did she escape from the prison? She did not escape from the prison. She told me that the state government granted her pardon. Hey, that is a lie. Ah. I, I hope you saw. Why didn't you allow the youth to apprehend her? She told me that her mother is dead, so I decided to let her go. Is her dead? Yes. Well, she has finally reaped the fruit of her labor. No, the fruit of her evil deed. That's what she reaped. You're correct. Uh, but our daughter will not go unpunished. Mm. We have to alert the youth to get her arrested. I agree. Mm. I agree. We must do so. So let's go. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wake up, my friend. Let's go. Up till now, 
the police have not come up with any positive result in their investigation. My husband cannot be killed just like that. His killers must be fished out and brought to book. Wait till your majesty. Is my son back? No, your majesty. Some policemen are here to see you. What for? I am tired of answering questions. I want my husband's killers fished out. What have I not told them that they needed to know? Your Majesty, I suggest you see them and know why they are here. <sighs> Go. Hey, how good. <laughs> I just pray that the youth are able to apprehend that girl and bring her here. What I will do to her, she will never forget throughout her lifetime. Iweka, if you are speaking in this manner, what about myself? Who? Both herself and her mother. Render my brother's life useless. Hmm. Well, I will not like to say anything. Let me remain cool and calm. Till the youth bundle her here, then I will look eyeball to eyeball and tell her there will no miracle that will save her this time around. No miracle will save her. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let us just keep our fingers crossed. Hmm? Uh, what a man wants to do is in his heart. Let them bring her here. I will deal with her. Go. Your brother hmm. left this house. He did not tell anyone his whereabouts. And he switched off his phone. What kind of behavior is this? Can you do that job maybe? Eh? Mama, you're asking the kind of behavior. It's as the result of not having a good wife. And had he been bothered listening to you, he wouldn't have been so. Hi. Where on earth will he be? Hey, come back here. Come back here. What is good about this afternoon? What have you come here to do? I've come to see my husband. Which husband? My husband now. You are no longer my son's wife. Leave this compound now, this minute. Eh, hey, hey, eh, you heard my mother, Adeline, leave our compound. Mama, you do this one. You go let this small girl talk to me anyhow. It's not good now, Mama, this is embarrassing. Ma. You're embarrassing me now. Eh? Hey? Please, I better go inside and tell him to come out. I want to see him. If you don't want me to talk to him inside, let him talk to me here. Oh, I should tell him to come outside. Hey, young mom. <laughs> let me go and call him. This is your question. I will answer it. Mm -hmm. Because I need to answer that question. It's very, very important. Why are you still standing here now? Go now. If I slap your eye, if I slap your teeth, you affect your father wherever he is in this place. You know that you will be You know, feel. You know, feel. You know, feel. You know, feel. This is my son. Yes! Leave! See my son! I beg you, leave. You know, green. Why are you not going to go? Go! 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 What kind of nonsense is this? Are you crazy? I don't know how you get that nigga all for my house. Because of my son, I will not drink water and keep cup. You the crazy! If it's fat, you go and fetch another one.
Oh my God! Andy, your mother-in-law did this to you? Hey, this is wickedness. What did you do to her? I don't know. Because I went to see my husband. She beat me up with Obi. My ah. daughter. Hey, you see? I have been telling you, stand and fight for your rights. But you said, mm -mm. Yeah. See, if I were you, I would get her arrested for this wicked act of hers. If I arrest her, what of my husband, what will you say? <laughs> see? Where is that foolish man? I don't know. Hi! Ha! Adley, stand and fight! Fight for it! No problem, I hear you. Let me go and see my mother. I'll see you later. I'll call you, yeah? Hi! Sorry! Thank you. Mad, you wicked mother in laws everywhere! Is that my business? Do you think I run charity organization here? Mm -hmm. Just, I don't have any place to go. I just, I'm very hungry. I just said, let me beg. Who are you? I, I'm nobody, ma. Nobody, ma. Uh, my name is just Stella. Where are your parents? Oh no, I'm an, I'm an orphan, ma. I'm homeless. I just want something to eat, ma. Please. Something I've been meaning to ask you. What? Those beggars at the entrance of our church. There's something strange about them. What? What exactly? Are you sure they are truly blind? How do you mean? Do you know any of them? I don't. But uh, what? What? Look, something tells me that they are not really blind. Particularly that one, the other one, that the fair, fair one. one. Yes, yes. You know, wearing that cap. Something tells me he's not really blind, my dear. This is how you talk all the time. Uh -uh. Eh? Is that is that the reason you don't give them money? Maybe. But I don't think that you matter. For the fact that they are there as beggars, we are Christians. You just need to bless them. Okay. Um, okay. I, I still have this strong feeling that uh, that particular man is, is not truly blind. Maybe when next I am, I am to give them anything, I will really pay attention and take a good look at you. <laughs> Why do you have to pay attention? What do you want me to say? <laughs> you said we should just give. So, whether he's blind or not, because you'll be hitting on it now. <laughs> Are you attacking me? <laughs> Anlin, mm. what happened to you? Who poured water on you? It's Alada. Mama is my mother in law. She emptied the buckets of water on my body. Ijoma did this to you. What of your husband? What did he do? And what did he say? I didn't see him. He was not around. Hey! Mama, he poured water on me and she pushed me out of the compound. Chimo! Ijoma is looking for my trouble. She is looking for my trouble and I will give it to her double upon double upon double. 20 times. Eh? Can you find it? Why won't she pour water on you? Eh? That woman does not want me to marry her son. She's trying to do everything possible to make sure that they drive me away. But me, I'm not going away. Mama, we have to do something. We have to do something. It will never happen. Oma me! Mama, she put water on you. Mama, she eh? said the way they humiliated me. Insulted me in front of that small girl, Obi. Even Obi herself was shopping her mouth, she was insulting me. Nem, don't worry. 
You don't have anything to worry about. You know that revenge is sweet. I will deal with them. I must give it to them one million times. I will get that. Eh? I will package it and give it to them. They will see what I will do to them. Eh? Don't worry. Let us go inside so that you will change your clothes. <laughs> She not reach anything. She not reach. Just sit one place and rest. Sit where? Let's keep going. Going to where? I am holding this stick, directing you. At the same time, carrying this umbrella. Don't you know it's heavy? It seems. Now nah, let's let's sit down. I'm tired. Where is this place now? Uh, around um, Solo Junction. Hey, we are close to Okweke Junction now. Let's just go there and rest. We'll find one one and uh, shade there and stay. We can't be. Let's just keep going. See, guy, 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 I am tired. Let's sit somewhere. I, 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 I can't continue. Let's sit down. Come and sit down here. Now, why did you slap me now? I will slap you again now if you talk and I'll be this one. Make I kill you, hide you for you now. Nobody will just to say you die. You be crazy. If she makes any mistake, eh? If she talks pain, beat her black and blue. I know fear. Eh? I was not talking to her and I... See, let me tell you. The other day, my daughter told me how you insulted her. See, eh? I'm not ready to receive any insolence from you or anyone in this your house. Else, you will receive it hurt. You know, yeah? Just try it now. Cannot do me anything. It's my mother cannot do anything. Yes. Mama, eh? this girl is talking in your bitter house. Not in my father's house. You cannot do it. You hide them for this truth. You die. Okay. My father's house. In your father's house. You, come you will see that there. You, you cannot do it. Let me. 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 Let why would she leave everything like this? Who even had the rest in that pot? Stella! Uh, who is this stupid person that we now have in this store? I don't even know who the person is. Is he a person or animal? I'm talking of Stella and stop asking me silly questions. Uh oh, what did she do? Go there and see the kitchen. Send how she left it unkept. The whole place is dead, dirty. She even had the rest I kept in the, in, in the pot without my notice. Eh, 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 Wanyo, just take it easy. If it is Stella that I have watched cleaning from table to seat to the floor, hey, can't you see how clean this place is? Or you go where? Will she kill herself? Why will she do it? Did I not employ her to serve me? Is she not my servant? Uh, when she came here, she was begging me she wants to work. I allowed her. Now see what she's doing. She can't, she's just lazying around, doing nothing. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, because she came to beg you for employment and you allowed her to work for you and she is serving you. You now want her to die serving you. So she will die in active service. Use her and do pepper soup and serve the customers. You hear? I am watching uh, you. Uh, uh, I am watching because I don't know why you are supporting this girl. You must be. You, you, you must be admiring her somehow. And don't worry, soon I will catch you. And then I will catch you. You will sorry for yourself. You will sorry for yourself.
You're welcome once again. Thank you, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. So how is your mom? She's fine. She sent her regards. My regards to her. Remember the lady I told you last night? Rita. This is Rita. Rita? Yes, you are nice. This is my daughter, Princess Amara. Oh, greetings, my princess. You're welcome. Mother, please excuse me. It's fine. Come on, it's okay. Go ahead and drink. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. <laughs> to come to my house with this your useless daughter to beat up my daughter. Oh, <laughs> is that the reason you are here? That shows you are useless, mm. senseless, stupid, huh? and shameless. If that's the reason you are here, it's better you go back before I place you in the position you, you, th that you deserve. You better do. Monica, I am not going anywhere. I am not leaving until you beat me the way you beat my daughter. And you, I don't want to see you Anywhere close to my house, you useless girl. Nijama, you lie! I think you said it! You cannot interfere in my uh, uh, in my daughter's marriage. You sit at your house. Yes. It is her house. She deserves it. The kingdom of God suffered violence and only the strong possesses it by force. You cannot take her away from her husband's house. It is over. Or you want to bet me? It, it is over between she and my son. Never! Take your useless daughter out of my house. Oh, my man! Who be the useless daughter? Listen, oh, my man! She be as quiet here since you they talk, I know they answer you. And maybe the useless daughter. Now, you, your son, and this is your idiot to stand for your son. Now, three of them, all of them are useless. Together! Come, Bam! It is you that is senseless. And you can never, you, you can never marry my brother. Yes! Smelling prostitute. Never! You know, deal with her! Who is that smelling prostitute? Deal with her, what? Deal with her! Deal with her, what? Jomar of yesterday. She thinks that she can come to my house and beat me up. <laughs> Thank God we showed her pepper. We have showed her the hand margin to your game. <laughs> that reminds me. We have to make inquiry and know where your husband is. If we find out wherever he is, eh? Nah, you must go there and meet him. Oh, but his phone is turned off. He switched his phone off. Don't worry yourself. Hey, you know what is so There is always a solution, ah. Mama. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Hey. Mama, huh? officers, look at them. Arrest them. Madam, you are under arrest. Uh -uh. Hey, I promise you, you will regret this. Woman, you and your daughter are under arrest. And both of you are expected to remain silent. Mom. 
For anything you say or do now, might be used it against you in the court of law. Officer, there's no problem. We can go with you, but just listen to this story. They were the ones that came to fight us in our own house. Will you shut there's up? No time to. Get them arrested, madam. Arrest. Eh, you cannot arrest, arrest me. Madam, we are, what shows that you are officers? Madam, eh? you know, how do we know you are officers? Okay, you want to know what? Yes, I'm because I don't know. She might go with you. Oh yeah. Oh, respect yourself this way. You will regret this. Move. You will regret this. Move. 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 I must confess that you are so beautiful. Sir, please, can you stop coming here to say this thing you are saying? Because I don't... Uh, never mind. Where is my wife, your madam? Uh... Okay. Peter! Eh? I hate you. I hate what you just said to Anna. Are you sure you heard me well? I was only admiring her hard work, saying she's doing it beautifully well, and asked about you before you walked in. I heard you loud and clear. You told her that she's beautiful. How can you be telling my servant she's beautiful? Uh, uh, and you, let me tell you, I will not stand here and watch you in my house. You are leaving this place right now and this minute. No, ma, I was just watching the place when he came and said, um, I'm working harder that I'm fine. Uh, uh, you are fine. What has fine got to do with this? And you, you're a shameless man. Don't worry, I'm coming back. Look at what my wife is doing to me. Is this an embarrassment? How can you be pointing at me in the presence of your house girl? This is too bad. I said she is doing her work beautifully well. And you are telling me that I'm admiring her. Huh? This woman, their choice. What was the meaning of that insult that she gave me there? How could you belittle me your husband before that lady? You can show you don't have shame. But let me promise you this. I must make sure I send that stupid girl out of this shop. How would you send a girl that did nothing out of the shop? Why would you send her away? Come you again. Can you swear you did not tell her what I heard? Swear and say you will die like a chicken. Choice, you are still saying that you heard what I said when I was I was only telling her that she is doing her work beautifully well. Come you again. If I admired her, did I do anything wrong? Did I? Why would you admire her? Is she your wife? Is she your daughter? Is she your sister? That is to show how shameless you are. How shameless you are and I mean, you're a disappointment to me, Vita. See, I am not saying you should not drive her away. Besides, I don't have any business with her. So if you like, bundle her. Kechieya, we bundle her. It's your own business and it's your own choice. That's you shameless fool. Shameless fool, you're a disgrace. You are a disgrace! And I will never forgive you for this thing you have done to me. I will never forgive In fact, let me go and pick her things. Your brother should be very, very careful with me. I'm his mother. And he must marry the woman I've chosen for him. Mother, you have no reason to be angry with my brother. He has every right to make a choice of a woman. And I disagree with that. Oh. Your brother knows nothing about marriage. That is the reason I have chosen a wife for him. You know, mother, personally, I do not like that girl. She will not be my brother's wife. Allow my brother to make a choice of his own mother. Oh, shut up. Don't ever utter that nonsense again. Is that clear? Yes, mother. My shop, please take me. For this thing, and lady, get out of this place. I cannot stand here watch you. You take my husband from me or whatever. I don't want to do that. Just leave for this to answer him. I said, leave this place. Please, let me even explain. I was on my own. Get for a stay the same. I don't want to hear. Leave. Leave me. Answer. Leave my shop. Leave me. I said, leave before I leave this thing on you. Leave my shop. Did they send you to me? Leave my shop. Useless man. 
You are the only one that can see something that is beautiful. Only you! You that man! Greetings, my princess. I'm here to see the queen. She's in her room. All right. Hey, hey, um, Rita. Yes. Hold on. Um, listen. I will advise you to stop wasting your time. I believe my mother has not told you yet. Listen, my brother will not marry you. He has made it clear to my mom. So please, my darling, have a rethink. Do you understand? For your own good. Excuse me. See that mm -hmm. you look beautiful, uh, <laughs> my queen. Please stop. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, hey. can you just come? I'm late for service. Hey? Thank you. Che. Could have allowed me to talk to her. And I wanted to talk to her, approach her first then and direct her to you now. Is it not the same thing? Mm -hmm. she she she's, not, she's not that kind of a patient person, and that is not the kind of person we need. Hmm? Please hurry up, hurry up, let's go. We are late, hurry up. Why are you looking like this? I love I'm bothered. I don't know why I keep having this feeling that something bad is about to happen to us. Ah, come on. That is the work of the enemy. Once you have that kind of feeling, just pray about it. Please push that devilish thought out of your mind, okay? Don't worry, we'll pray as we're going, alright? It's go. okay if you say so, let's go. Sorry. Uh, 
are you two disturbing me? I don't understand. Please, I'm Sister. Hey. Are you sure this is going to work? Eh? This thing is getting too difficult. It will. All we need is to be patient. I believe the right person will come someday. This is the place I saw in my dream. So my dream always, always come to pass. Patience, you see. Yes. I'm patient. Until we become patient. Shikero Wakanoma. Doctor, you can see how worried my husband is. He can't even leave her sight for one minute. Eh? What is going on? Is she going to be fine? Is she going to be alright? Is everything okay? <sighs> yes. Though she's still unconscious. You see, the young lady is somehow depressed and uh, we wanted to take her life. That explains uh, the reason she ran onto the road to be killed. <sighs> but thank God, that didn't happen. Lord, I thank you. How can a young lady like that be depressed? That bad? Uh, these things happen. But uh, you did well to bring her to this place. We shall find out her identity when she regains consciousness. So what you're saying now is that she's going to be fine and everything is okay? Definitely she will. So we can go home? Yeah, we'll do our best. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. But Thank please you. do everything, everything you can just to keep her. Please. We'll do our best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. All right. Take I'll care. check on you tomorrow. Not at all. We're waiting. <laughs> hey, Ngozi, my sister. Sister Franka and her husband did not attend service today. Me too, I didn't see them and they have never missed service before. I wonder what happened. I suggest we go and visit them and find out what happened. Maybe I would have gone, but the only 200 I have with me, I have spent it on those beggars on the gates. Ah. I saw the way his friend or his brother was calling you after service today. My dear. I don't know why those two are disturbing me. Eh? You know me now. I fired them. I just pity them and gave them the 200 that I have with me. Anyways, I don't do it things like that. I don't understand. Let's go to Sister Franca's house. <clears throat> uh, I couldn't find the paper. When I go back home, I will ask my son to help me look for it. Okay, you wake up, my friend. That's no problem at all. No problem. Um, but that, that's not the actual reason I am here. Have you? Head or seen Teresa's daughter again? Mm -mm. I've not seen her. The last time she came here was the very last I saw her. Okay. Huh. Don't you think we should go to the prison to confirm what she told us about her mother? Are you trying to say that she lied to me? It's possible. It's possible that she must have escaped from the prison. Anything is possible. I think you are making sense. We shall go to the prison. But we will not go alone. Yes. We have to invite more of our people so that we go there in mass. I think I agree there with you. That makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Meet my friend Daniela. Daniela, meet my mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mama. It's a pleasure to meet you too, my dear. Wow, oh my nature. Thank you. Mama. I know you said that, Mama. Hmm. Beautiful girl with beautiful name. Yeah. Daniela. 
You're welcome to my house, baby girl. Thank you. And um, Obi, you have to go and look for something for her to take. Oh? Um, my darling, please, make yourself comfortable. Just relax, oh? And uh, let me finish what I'm doing at the backyard. Baby girl, you're welcome to my house. Um, Beautiful. Really? Yes. <laughs> and she said you make a good wife to my brother. Hmm. I beg. Leave yeah. me alone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm coming. My friend, mm. my daughter is here to come back. She went to visit her friend who was hospitalized at the city. And we expect her to be back so soon. She left here since morning. Early in the morning, she left. Uh, Papa? Oh, here she comes. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, Uncle. Oh, good afternoon. Welcome, my daughter. Papa, are you going now? Yes. What about your friend? She's fine. There is something I would want us to talk about. Can we see outside? Can't it wait till I come back? No, 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 Papa. I will be very, very brief. Obi, I don't understand. Is this a joke or something? I'm not joking, no. I'm serious about it. But your mom is just seeing me for the first time. Like, how can she just... She likes you. I don't even think that she knows nothing about it because I told her everything. Everything. And she wanted to marry my brother. Just like that? Yeah, so just like that. So prepare your mind. Ha. But I've not seen your brother, so how am I sure he's going to like me? And how do I know I'm going to like him? Is he my spec? Is he my type? <laughs> Where? For you, I know you're going to like my brother because he's very, very handsome. And as for my brother, ah, ah, how wouldn't my brother like you? All this thing you gather. I beg, I beg, ah, I beg. Ah, ah. Ah. Well, you just have to think about it. I beg, I beg, I don't want to talk about this one. Hey. What are you saying, Seth? Just like that. See, see, you just have to think about what I told you. Obvious. Yes. My daughter just told me now that she saw Teresa's daughter in the hospital where she visited her friend. Are you joking? I'm not joking. No. It's better we go to see the chairman right now because she has told me the name of the hospital and I know the hospital in question. Have you spoken to your mother? Not yet. But I'll call her today. But... But what? I just want to... concentrate first. Because I know if I call her... it must be about returning back home. Where am I? What am I doing? I don't need that for now. And what if this lasts for a very long time? I don't mind. Whatever it will take me to achieve this. I'm game, bro. You're serious, aren't you? I'm dead serious, bro. Peace of mind is what I'm looking for. Oh boy. Doing this guy, I will finish him. Well, I know you're really hungry. I take a busy now. Do you need to take back the guy? Mm hmm. I'm sure I suppose back him. Uh, her name is Stella. Her daughter. We heard that she was admitted in this hospital. Stella? Oh, yes. Stella Carfor. She is my. Late brother's daughter. <sighs> okay. Um, let me speak with the nurses to so know the patient that we are admitting.
Is that why your face is like this? My love, I am so worried about her. And I'm also anxious to hear her story. Only God knows what she has been through. Hmm. It's alright. Uh, let's wait until we hear from her. Okay? But no matter what, she has to stay with us for a while. Please. How can we harbor someone we know little or nothing about? My love, does it matter? Eh? She is helpless and we can't send her away. Why are we Christians, please? We are not talking. Well, let's wait until we hear our story, okay? You must be strong in spirit for you to make it for you to achieve all you must be strong. You must be strong. My daughter knows who she saw. The day she came to your house, she saw you. There is her daughter, I'm sure. She's the one. Then why did they tell us in the hospital that no one like that was admitted there in the hospital? Maybe they don't want our people to see her. How did they know about us then? What if Teresa's daughter have told them that? You have a point there. Then what do we do? Let us go back to the hospital. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. You must be strong in spirit for you to make it for you to achieve all you must be strong. You must be strong. You don't know me from anywhere, but you saved my life, and you still brought me to your house. Thank you. Look, you don't need to thank us, okay? We thank God that you are alive. Now tell me, how are you feeling now? I feel very alright, sir. We thank God for saving your life, my sister. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I tried to take my life. I'm sorry you had to see that. It's just that life had no meaning for me anymore. Come on. You don't need to apologize. 
you've been forgiven a long time ago. Thank you, sir. Okay, now, tell me, why were you trying to take your life? Please speak to us. Tell us, we are family now. It all started 18 years ago. <laughs> oh my love, it's not like that. It's me, oh. It's me, Teresa. The all weather Teresa. I can handle it. Come on. Okay, just come to the bar in the evening and we'll have it sorted out. Alright. <laughs> I'll see you in the evening. Bye. Whew. Stella, are you all right? Mom, I want us to talk. Is that why your face is like that? Talk to me. I'm not happy. Since you promised to take me to the village to see my father, you have not done anything. Stella, I have changed my mind about that. I mean, I don't know why you're so worried about a useless man who doesn't care about you. Okay, how many times has he called just to check on you and know how you're doing? But mom, he's still my father. Your father? That man does not love you. Haven't I been there for you? Haven't I been caring for you? Please just forget about that man. He doesn't love you. Hello, Jesse. Madam Tessie, Madam Tessie. Hey. Madam Tessie, the general. <laughs> the worldwide Madam Tessie. Madam Tessie, when you get up. Mike, Mike. Odogu, oh, okay. I can see that you are in a very high spirit today. Yes, so uh, 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 I do always active now. I'm always, uh, 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 you know, no. <sighs> You're welcome. Madam Tessie, this is your daughter and a machine now. Huh? Mike, are you here for me or for my daughter? Madam Tessie, I'm here for you. Bo. Is, is, is your daughter there available? She is available now. <laughs> my daughter is available. But at a very high cost. Ha, you know them say you don't put that for the business now. Is she in the business now? Do you want my daughter or not? I I want. I want. And I'm ready to pay any amount. I will do transfer. Then consider her yours for tonight. But you have to make the transfer immediately before somebody else books her for the night. Uh -uh. Ha! She's not a hot cake now. <laughs> Are you in? Huh, I, I'm in, I'm in. Uh, what's the price? <laughs> Stella. <clears throat> You're not done. Yes, I'm still watching. Okay, um... I want you to listen very carefully and mark every word I'm about to say. Mom. Yes? Why are you sounding like this? <laughs> Is there anything the matter? Not at all. See, there's something I want you to do for me. I know that you will not fail me, but make me proud. Mom, what is it? <laughs> Hi. You know, I'm ready to do anything just to make you happy. Oh, that's my daughter. <laughs> okay, turn around for me. I should turn around. Yes, you know you are beautifully endowed. <laughs> just turn for mommy, okay? Wow. You are so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank mm. you. You're okay. So tell me, what do you want me to do for you? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Stella, Stella, Stella. 
Stella. She really looks beautiful. Just like her mother. She's going to be mine tonight. I really paid heavily for her. Why is this man taking me home? My mother asked me to do whatever he asked me. I thought he's my mother's male friend. So why me? My daughter, remember what I told you about the man you're going home with tonight? Good. Please comply with him, okay? I will get you a new phone tomorrow. Of course, I'm serious. <laughs> All right, there. Good night. I love you. <laughs> Bye. Whew. Hello, baby. How are you? Please, Jerry. What is it? You're asking me what happened. Did you not book an appointment with me yesterday? You kept me here all alone waiting for you. I'm sorry, okay? In fact, that's the reason I'm here. Alright? I'm sorry. You're so I'm sorry. sorry. You're so sorry. After you've gone to see all those useless girls you think are better than me. It's alright. Just calm down, okay? Calm down. I'm here now, alright? I'm here and I'm here for you. Before I will calm down, you have to pay me for last night. You even switched off your phone. Do you think I don't know your tricks? In fact, someone is already on his way to, to pick me and take me home. It's okay, it's okay. I'll pay, alright? I'll pay. In fact, you can have everything. Can have it just to make you happy, you know. How much is here? It was supposed to be the usual amount, but I doubled it. <laughs> I hope you're cool now. <laughs> now you're talking. You're cool now, right? <laughs> you're talking now. I can see your smile. <laughs> oh my right? goodness, Jerry, you really made me angry. Oh. It's fine. I'm sorry. I won't do that again, okay? Stella, Stella, Stella. Let it not be what I'm thinking. How could my mom lure me into this? You are not on the street. You are not a street girl. Hey, Asa. How are you now? Oh yeah, oh yeah, go and shower, go and shower. Let's get down to business. Sharp, 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 sharp. What's it up? Please, I want to go home. Take me home. Uh -uh. Why? Did you say what I tell you? She didn't tell me anything. Please, I just want to go home. Why are you acting up? Go on bath, no, start this thing now. Huh? Fast, fast. I'm not acting up, please. I want to go. You want to go here? This is not the agreement me and your mother had. Like, come on, go and shower, let's. Huh? Call her, call her, see so. Which guy? Uh -uh. What is it? My daughter is calling. Before the time for her to call is now. Hold on, let me just find out why she's calling. Have I disappointed you before? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I just hope she's not trying to distract you about her. No, 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 she's not. Let me find out, okay? I will join you. Alright, she knows the room. I know the room, don't worry. <laughs> I'll be with you. Alright. Mm -hmm. Be good, okay? I Hello, baby girl. Why? I told you. To... Stella, calm down. Just comply with him. He's not going to harm you. Can you listen to me? Hello? Hello, Stella? <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. Oh. 
Stella, why have you chosen to embarrass me this way? Mom, I can't do it. I can't sleep with a man I do not know. I know he must have paid you, but I can't. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? My mates are in school. Why are you refuse to send me to school? Why? Stop crying. You took me away from my father. Your father does not care about you. I do. <laughs> You care about me. Of course I do. Is that how you care about your only daughter? Your only child, mom. By turning me into a prostitute like you are. <laughs> well, since that's what you want, let it be. But I promise you one thing. You are going to regret this. You are going to regret this, Mom. <laughs> what kind of insult was that? You gave me assurance and I paid fully for her. What did I get at the end in insult? Mike, please calm down. Come and sit down. Let's talk about this. Let's talk it over. There's nothing to talk over, madam. Are you hearing me? There's nothing to talk over. What I paid for, give it to me. Let me live here. That's why I said you should sit down now. Let's talk about this. At least hear me out. See, the only language I understand now is let her follow me. And there is no refund. I don't want any refund. Let her follow me. Mike, why are you acting up? I said you should sit down. Let's talk about this. And you're here shouting. Will this shouting solve this ma matter? Ah, uh, what is it? There's no point quarreling over all this. I'm ready to go with you since that's what you want. My daughter. Mom, I have made up my mind. I want to go with him. Not like this. Shall Not we? Now. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. What I paid for. I have done it at last. And now. There is no going back on it. Just like my mother. I'm going to be a renowned prostitute. That's what she wants for her old child. Stella, 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 Stella. Stella. Baby, what is it? Why are you not sleeping, huh? And how is that your business, if I sleep or not? Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. No? <clears throat> Better be.
Stella, 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 Knocking. What are you doing? Mom, I'm doing what you forced me into. <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. No, my daughter. I didn't force you into this. I didn't. What are you doing here? Mom, please leave my room. Oh, Stella. Mom! Still leave my room. I want to be left alone. You are now on the street. You are now a street girl. anything yet. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my daughter. Uh, please, where is your mother? My mom. Yeah. She's here. Allowed this man into my compound. Mom, they just walked in. Teresa, you mean you cannot welcome us after coming from the village to this very place? What is my business with you traveling all the way? Did I invite you to my house? Eh? Whether you invited us or not, we are here to inform you that your husband, our brother, died yesterday. <laughs> so you came all the way to give me this useless news. Your brother and I parted ways a long time ago. So I don't know why you are here giving me this news. A man who did not care about me, nor my daughter. Are you saying? Obiosa, you heard what I said. You heard it. Please get out of my house. Teresa. Get out of my house. Are you the one saying this? Do I have water in my mouth? Eh? Get out of here! Wait. Please let us go. We shall not tell which is. Don't worry. We will not. Stop it. 
Just look at them. Mom, stop it! Mom, why did you do that to them? Those men deserve more than I just gave them. They are as wicked as your father. In fact, I'm very glad that he's dead and gone. Mom, please! <laughs> Feel good now. <laughs> Last night I had two men, <laughs> and it was fun. Mm. Thanks to this. <laughs> oh. I'm ready for four men. Four men. Tell me, did you miss me? You asked me again if I missed you. Mm -hmm. Come on, oh. See, I didn't just miss you, like, I have you back in my head. <laughs> I'm serious, like. Stop. Why are you teasing me? Not. After the last time we saw, should I mm -hmm. tell you, like, every time I wake up, you open my head. I'm sleeping, you hear. Everything about me wants you, like, right now, I really want you.
mother. We are under arrest. And you are obliged to remain silent. For whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Hey, officer, what did I do? I haven't done anything. Stella! Madam, do you know what you want I don't know anything. I, tell me. Or do you remember the man that you gave out to your daughter to sleep with in the hotel room? He's found dead. And that is why your daughter was arrested. Hey! Stella! Stella, what happened, Stella? Oh my goodness, yeah, Stella, you are wasting our time. You. Let's go. But officer, I have not done anything. Huh? I Madam, haven't... let's go. Move. Hey! Officer, take it easy. Do you want me to No, no, don't, don't drag me, please. Oh, go. Biazo. Yes, you wake up. It's like I'm still dreaming. That Teresa and her daughter mm. have been taken to prison to serve a jail term. Ah. You wake up. It's not a dream. This is a life and direct. Teresa was busy telling Stella that to go and sleep with the men in the hotel. Mm. Unfortunately for Stella, <laughs> a man died. In the hotel with her, hmm. and she was about to escape. The security man got him, and that is what they are ripping now. Yes, yes they, they deserve what they are now ripping because uh, uh, whatever you sow, you must reap. I agree with you. Hmm. Hmm. So that is just it. It's good. Hmm. That serves them right. Yes. <laughs> so let's go in and take something. Okay, let's go. That was how my mother and I spent time in jail. She died 15 years ago of a fever while I was granted a state pardon by the state government. I tried to go back to prostitution, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. And so I decided that it was better off if I killed myself than be alive and, and feel all this void and pain. No. God will not allow that. You will not die. You will not die. You see, God has saved your life. You were once lost. But God in his infinite mercy has found you. No. No. He hasn't found me. I'm haunted day and night by my past. I just want to join my mother. I'm better dead than alive. Don't you ever say that again. Yes, God will be hungry with you. I have nowhere else to go. Of course you have. You do. Look, you have here. This is your home now. Okay? You can stay here with us and we'll treat you like a sister. What did you say, Ma? Like my husband said, you can stay with us. We'll treat you like a sister. Thank you so much, Ma. Please, my sister, can you stop crying? <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's okay, it's okay. Don't cry. Thank you so much. So, who invited you? Mr. Johnson and his family. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, what is the name? Stella. Oh, Stella. Yes, Pastor. Do you know what? I know you don't know the Bible, but I, I will teach you a little bit. The Bible said there is a joy and tribulation in heaven over one soul that is one. So you are welcome once again. Thank you. Yeah. I think it's time for me to pray for you. Hmm? Father, in Jesus' name, Amen. I want to thank you, Lord, for the life of your daughter, Stella. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we give you all the glory for a day like this. Amen. Blessed be your name.
this life. If I tell you my story, you will cry for me. I forgot me, but I know why. You can't rock a cocoa, mama, in the chitere, I have seen something in this life. Oh. If I tell you my story, you will cry for me. I forgot me, but I know why. You can't rock a cocoa, mama, in the chitere, I have seen something. Life, life not no for me anymore. Anymore. The elders have had enough patience for your brother. Why is he acting like this? Eh? It's almost five months he left here. No one knows his whereabouts. Mother, I have told you that I spoke to my brother three days ago. He told me that we should not worry about him. That, that, that what? Oh, Mom. That what? What is he doing there? Why would he abandon his responsibility? Eh? Okay, tell me. Who will inherit his father's will? that will usher him as the next king of this land. Mother, my brother did not abandon his responsibility. He did not. How do you mean? Hey? Were you not here this morning when Ono came? He did not listen to his utterances. The people are tired of waiting. They are tired. Mother, please, you are getting this all wrong. And you're getting worked up over nothing. The people should not force it upon my brother. They should be, they, they should just learn to be patient with him. Anyway, if after the end of this month, I do not see him, I will have no option than to present Rita to the elders. Mother, you will do no such thing. For crying out loud, Mother, he is your son. Give him some time to... We are done with this discussion. Beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel. Which 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 light and which tunnel are you talking about? Eh? God is about to answer our prayers. How? I had a dream last night. If you have a dream, you pray. If you have a no, dream, no, no. This particular dream is spectacular. There's something unique about it. You think I'm joking, right? One day you wake up, you won't see me here again. I am tired, I'm telling you this. If you have a dream, pray now. Okay. That's him dream. Calm down. Take it easy. Ah, I'm going to leave here very soon. Yeah. Okay? Very soon. Mom, so there's this verse in the Bible. It has been playing in my head. You were talking about the book of Acts of Apostles. Chapter 20, verse 35. How did you know the exact Bible verse? Because the Holy Spirit teaches all things. I need the Holy Spirit to teach me all things. I need to have an encounter with Him. I don't want to make the kind of mistakes I made 15 years ago. Stella, that is why you have to keep reading your Bible. And believe me, one day you will have an encounter with the Holy Spirit and it will teach you everything and more. I'll read my Bible. I need that encounter. And so it's going to be. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Mom. 
Hello, my friend. Yes, you that. You're ready? Yes. So, where is Stella? She has left. Where to? <laughs> where is if not church? Oh. But why did she leave so early? Are you complaining now? Oh. Why should I complain? <laughs> Well, thank God you're not against it. That shows how zealous she is about her confession. That is good. But you were about blackmailing me. You know, I would be happy that she's zealous about the word of God. Eh? Why are you making it look as if I wasn't happy about it? The way you sounded it sounds like... <clears throat> we are behind scale right now, so let's go. Don't okay? mind me. What about the khaki? Are you with the khaki? No. Okay. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. You're God bless you. God bless you. That lady is so kind. Honestly. No one has ever treated us like this. Does that tell you anything? Well, I agree with you. You should still give in others. Yes. I knew a man in Christ 14 years ago. Whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God know it. Search and walk caught up to the third heaven and I knew such a man. Ah. Sweet of you. My love. You know I like the book of uh, Corinthians. It's your favorite. Man. Yes. Because Paul was a great man in his time. Teacher. I so love that man. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, my darling. <clears throat> I find out why Stella left early this morning? I'm listening. I discovered she did not take her lunch when we came back from church. So I asked her, guess what? What? She told me that she took the food, her own lunch, to those beggars at the church gates this morning. Hmm. No wonder. As we were driving into the church premises, I saw them eating. Really? Yes. I didn't take note. So it was Stella that gave them that food? Yes, my dear. Oh. Hmm. She was one that gave them the food. She was so concerned about those beggars. And she was lamenting so bitterly that if only she had money, she would have taken care of those beggars. Ah. That was so touching. Does she know them? No. She's just concerned about them. Hmm. Well, she has to be very careful. You know, our society is full of evil these days. Sometimes you really want to help, and it's good to help. But if you're not careful, you can run into problems, you know. So the trick is, you pray. Let God guide you as to when and how to help. No, I'm, why are you laughing? I'm telling you the sorry, truth. Sorry. My love, listen. Mm. I don't think there is any need for all that of praying. Yes, I understand that the world is so full of evil and people take advantage of people. We should be happy that she even has the heart of giving. So all we need to do it's just a guide. I tell her to be careful and that's all. No, but we are saying the same thing. I'm not to pray now. Uh -uh. No, look, let me tell you. As a Christian, you must pray. As a matter of fact, even if I want to wear my cloth, I pray, God guide me. No, I'm serious. Okay, you're God right. has to guide you in everything you do. 
I'm not a pastor for nothing. I understand. Ah. Ah, you're good. So, <clears throat> today I'm ready for you to teach me. Okay. You know, like the book of Corinthians, like I'm I told already. you. So, um, I'm reading this um, Second Corinthians chapter 12, okay. starting from uh, verse 2. Okay. You know, it, it talks about uh, Paul. It's an experience of Paul. God, Mama now found a new wife for my brother. Oh, B. You don't have to mock her now. Eh? It's not fair. No, I'm not mocking her. No, no, I only want her to see my brother's new wife. See wife now. See wife now. Wait, are you afraid of her? Ah, let's go. Oh, B. Let's go. You've started. Though. Let's go. <laughs> Lead the way. Hey, God. Hey, God. See oh, wife B. now. See wife. New wife? Hey! See her big bum bum. Hey! Hey! God, you punish this boy for replacing me with this kind of fine girl. God, you punish her back. Tired. What are you doing here? I invited her over because I'm tired of waiting for your brother. Yes, I want to introduce her to Ono and the elders. I've actually invited Ono and he will soon be here. Mother, you're making a great mistake. Please, can you just be patient and let my brother come back? I've waited for a long time. So call him and tell him my decision. Mother, you cannot force my brother to marry someone he does not know. You can't do that. You're making things difficult in this palace for you. Do not talk back at me. I am still the good mother. I decide what should be and what should not be. Rita, please come with me. Now has a new wife. That means every single thing I have worked for will just go like that. Just like that. Hmm. You know go work. Hmm. Hey? Hey? Adeline. Adeline. What happened? Mama. Mama. What is it? Mama. Sebastian now has a new wife. <laughs> Chukwaju. Where did you get such information from? On my way to this place, I saw Obi, the younger sister. I saw Obi and Obi said this is Sebastian's new wife. If you see her anywhere, will you be able to recognize her? I will notice her now. I, I, I... Why did you ask? Um, don't worry. Eh? Everything is under control. Um, I will tell you later. I'll finish cooking. You have to go and have your lunch, okay? I said like this, Mama, I don't even get appetite to eat. I must just get myself small face, eh? I feel you. Sebastian. Another wife. <laughs> Is it not me again? Ah, I trust myself. I know what I can do. Be 
is he already? Who knows what exactly my mom is telling him? I have to find my brother at any cost. He needs to come home as quickly as possible. I know she's trying to convince Ono over the girl as my brother's wife. But I will not let that happen. There is something about this girl I do not like at all. You were halfway there already. Just be strong, little boy. Don't lose me. You must be strong oh. in spirit. We thought you wouldn't be coming to service today. Oh no, I never miss on the service. God speaks to me all the time when I come to church. God speaks to you? Um, <laughs> no. I, I can now mind will not understand. Perhaps when you join the faith, you will understand. Can we join you, please? Yes. Yes, uh, the both of us. Everyone is welcome in the house of God. You can come in now if you want. Wow. Okay. We are coming. Let me hurry. This is for you. Thank you. Bye bye, I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> My daughter. She remains the queen mother. And her words are final. Oh no, you seem not to understand what I am saying. What my mother is about to do will cause nothing but trouble in our family. I know my brother too well, no. Um, have you been able to contact your brother all this while? Yes. And he kept on saying that nobody should choose a wife for him. But my mother will not listen. <sighs> well, you don't blame the Queen Mother. Hmm? <laughs> um, time is running out fast. Your brother has wasted so much time. If a wife is not secured for him, it might be dangerous, very, very dangerous. Because he has lavished much time. The people have to wait for my brother. Oh no, he is still the heir apparent. And there's nothing they can do about it. And nobody will take it away from him. So they have to wait. Well, there is no point arguing over this. The Queen Mother has the final say. You can discuss it extensively with her. She is also your mother. God, please, forgive my late mother. She didn't have the opportunity to repent like I did. I know she will be in hellfire, but I wish I can turn back the hand of time. Her lifetime was wasted. My mother would not have died if she had not indulged herself in such dirty business. I wish I had parents like Brother Johnson and his wife. Some people are looking for you. Good day, Sister Stella. Good day. Good day, Stella. Good day. How did you find here? I mean, who are you? Oh. Sorry, we... We followed you after the last time we met. I do not know you. Why would you follow me? We, we came for you to 
teach us the, the word of God. Yes. To know if we can, things can change for us. And that's why you followed me. Yes, we're sorry, but you just have to teach us the Bible. We want to learn. Greetings, mother. Amara. Mother. Did you go to Onowu's house yesterday? It's personal. Personal, you said? Yes. Now listen. I don't ever want to see you in his house again. Did you hear that? Answer me! Yes, mother, I heard you. Taking it to the queen's daughter in law. The queen's what? Listen, listen. Do not ever refer that idiot as my mother's daughter in law. Am I understood? Don't try it next time. Daughter in law, my foot. Now go! The queen's daughter in law, indeed. In this house, it's not possible. Never! I don't know why my brother is not just picking his calls. But I need to pick up. You need to pick up your call, please. This palace is just on fire. Total in law. <laughs> I really enjoyed her teaching. Forget about the teaching because that's not why we went there in the first place. She was so humane. I've seen all that before. I think I'm now running out of time. The best thing is to make a bold step. And how do you intend to achieve this bold step? Because I am tired of this whole rubbish. You can't be tired, bro. Very soon you're going to leave here. Please cut me off that. Pap. You've been saying that often time. So this won't make any difference. It's been long I've been hearing that. Calm down now. Ah, I'm tired though. Calm down. Leave your soup and leave your soup. You must be strong in spirit for you to make it to your For you to life. achieve all you your dreams. You must be strong You must be spirit for you to make it to your You must be strong. Back. Where have you been? 
long story, Mom. <laughs> you kept us worried. Hope one is well. Hi. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> we shall now commence with the traditional marriage arrangement immediately. I've actually sent for no, so you will soon be here. Mom, but you should have asked for my consent before taking such decision. Just listen to yourself. Did you tell anyone before you left here? Besides, do you know how many times I've called you? Well, I'm sorry about that. Oh. My trip went well. Though it wasn't easy, but I thank God everything went well. I found a woman I want to marry. Finally! Finally! Yeah. What did I hear you say? That I, I found a woman after my heart. Um, Chidi, listen. You cannot marry any other woman. Aside the one I've chosen for you. Yeah. Mom, are you trying to impose a woman I don't know on me? Mm -mm. I'm your mother. And you should listen and obey me. Rita is your wife. Well, Mom, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't know. What's the name again? Rita, or whatever you call her. The only woman I know is Stella. My journey will never be in vain. You have no option, my son. I've made a decision. And that's final. Mom, let's not push this. Please. Mm. How is she? She's fine. She's beautiful. Oh. Like <laughs> I'm so happy for you. That is why I've been calling you on the phone to come back. Why would mother do such a thing without my consent? I'm not going to take it. I will insist you see or know over this matter. There is no need for that. I am old enough to take my decisions. No one should force me to marry who I don't want. But mother is not helping matters here. I tried warning her, but anytime I tried doing that, she ignores me. See that girl is leaving this house. Nothing on earth will make me marry her. See, whatever you're doing, brother, I am behind you. But please, please, I will insist you see your lawyer. Please. There's no need for that. I don't know why mother keeps doing this. Eh? Why have you chosen to always bring these beggars to the house? Why? My husband will not be happy if he finds out. You're right, Ma. And I'm very sorry. I have already instructed them not to come here again. Please don't get me wrong. I am not against you preaching the word of God to them. But that should be other church. And the reason is because you don't even know who they are. You're right, ma. Honestly, you are. And that is why I told them not to come here. Sebastian. Chidi. Who are they? They are the ones you just spoke of. The beggars? Wait, no. Can we at least have a seat? I don't believe this. You're a prince? Um, Stella, please, can we not go into that now? Um, we are here to see your husband. Any problem? No problem. Well, my husband is not around. Very well then. Oh, wait. Would you? You're a prince? If I tell you my story,
Why will you tell me that you don't know the reason why they are here? I don't know why they are here. And you expect me to believe you. You were the one who brought them home in the first place. No, ma'am. I didn't bring them home. They followed me from the church. So tell me, why are they here? I have no idea. I can't lie to you, ma'am. I have no idea. Stella, I am very angry with you. But first, let me call my husband. He has to come home immediately. Ma. I... I don't understand. We always see you at the entrance to our church, begging for arms. How come you are dressed like this? You even came with a car. Who are you? Sir, my name is Prince Chidi Ugochuku of our Medo Kingdom. And here with me is my friend Sebastian. You are a prince? Yes. I'm a prince. So, why were you begging? Well, actually, sir, it's a long story. Um, I disguised myself in search of a wife. Yes, I've I've been on that for some time now. Till I till I found the real person, the special person my heart yearns for. You found a special person. You are getting me more confused. Can you please expatiate? Okay, sir. I I found a flower. Yeah, heavenly treasure in your house. Um, so that is why we are here to make our intentions known to the family. Excuse me. What is this precious flower and heavenly treasure you found? She's the one. She's special. She's that woman I've been looking for. And I'm here to, like I said, make our intentions known. She's a joke. You're a prince and you can't see. Stella, please wait. Wait. I don't have any idea of what he's talking about. Calm down. See? Um, young man, are you by any means insinuating that you want to marry Stella? Exactly, sir. But if I may ask, did you make your intentions known to her? No. Before coming here? No, no, no. He did not. This is an insult and I am so upset about this. Oh, please tell don't. Him. No, please don't. Ask them to leave. Stella, please. Stella. We're very sorry, sir. So please, all of that was just acting. Just to get the real person. I haven't made my intentions known actually, but if you can help me, sir. Have you seen the kind of mistake you made today? All because you refused to heed to my advice. Have you seen it? Damn it. Please, this is not a time to apportion blames. Which advice are you talking about? Did I not tell you? to speak to Stella one-on-one -on -one before going to their place to see her parents. Did I not say that to you? I need to think. If you have a solution, this is the time to bring it on and not to blame me. Solution? Yes. Can you just start this car and take me out of this place? And I'm leaving as soon as I get to that house because I've taken enough of your bullshit. Enough of it. Take it easy, man. Let's find a solution here. Why are you blaming me? 
Well, you can think about whatever you want to do or go ahead and profile this solution. I don't care. All I want is to take me out of this place. What is it? I think I've taken enough, please. This is not how things are done. How can someone just walk into another man's house asking him that he wants to marry his daughter? Yeah. Um, there is nothing wrong in asking for someone's daughter's hand in marriage. Uh, it's just that he went about it the wrong way. He did the right thing the wrong way. But let's not overlook his good intentions. Good intentions? Oh yes, Della. Look. It's only a responsible man that will disguise himself in order to find a good wife for himself. That, that is the point I'm making here. Okay? Do you know if he's telling the truth? Well, I believe he is. I spoke with him. I pointed out his mistakes. And he owned up to them. You know. So, He's going to do the needful at the right time. And what is the needful? You want an unbeliever to marry Stella? Come on, sweetheart. He might be an unbeliever, but I can see a good man in him. I will not marry him. Because I don't know him. Stella, just calm down. I, I, I will make inquiries about him, okay? I will. My husband, please can you tell me the truth? Why are you so interested in this matter? Do you know the young man before? Well, I don't know him yet. I will know him soon. I'll try to find out if he's truly who he says he is. I mean, Armando Village is not far from here. And that is why I'm asking you, why are you so interested in this matter? But it's obvious now. I want the best for Stella. Okay? <laughs> for all I know, it might be an opportunity that God has provided for her to better her life. So after I'm done with my inquiries, and I'm convinced that the man is really who he says he is, then I will convince Stella to marry him. Simple. Just like that? And you think Stella will accept this? Ah, come on. I will talk to her. I pray you do not make a mistake about this. Sweetheart, the point here is Stella cannot live with us forever. Okay? So, all I'm doing is just to help her. Okay? I mean, how have we not tried enough for her? No, no, wait. I hope you're not driving her away through this means. Why are you saying that? Please don't let her hear this from you. I'm only trying to help here. <laughs> I hope so. Chidi has returned to his people. I doubt if he's going to work for him and Stella again. As for me, I need to go back home and face my challenges. I don't want Edlin. I don't want Edlin in my life ever again. Not after all I've gone through in her hands. Hey, come back here. Come back here, Edlin. Edlin, what is it? 
Where do you think you are going this early morning? I don't understand. So you now ask me where I go to? I'm going out, Mama. Obviously. Huh? At least go inside and do some house chores. At least sweep your house for once. Me? Yes, sweep. Yeah. What is Obi doing in this house? Ah. What is Obi doing in this house? I'm asking you. If Obi is not in this house, you cannot keep where you are living clean. Your own house, your own matrimonial home. Sabasi, why your mother? See, 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 see this woman, just, just, just one now. One now. What do you mean I should want my mother? Don't you have mm. respect? If I don't have respect, if I don't have respect, I don't even support her now. It's not you again. I don't even support her. Wicked family. Huh? Yes. Nah. I asked your wife that it is too early for a married woman to leave her home this early morning without doing any house chores. At least let her sweep the house. Simple. She started raining all this insult on me. Mama, so if you see Will insult, you shut up? Don't tell me to shut up! Say insult you. If you see insult, no, no insult. Come and hold me now. Hey! You see yourself? Have you Adeline. seen the kind of wife you brought Adeline. into this family? Look at the woman you call your wife. Don't leave this compound. If you leave this compound, you're not coming back to this place again. It is you that will leave the house for me. You. You will leave this house for me. I will drive all of you from this house. Even a married wife, you'll never stay. Oh, don't worry. Okay. Somebody that has gone far. Okay, you can cook it at home. You joke. Hey! Hey, boy, Why is this girl giving me too much trouble? Uh -huh. You will let her find out. Nonsense anymore. What kind of rubbish is this? My son, where is your wife? I don't know. Can you imagine that girl? I, the clothes I gave Edlin to wash, she left them under the bed. And then since morning, she left this house, she's not yet back. Mama, I do, I, what I don't understand is the kind of home training they give to this girl. She has no respect for anybody at all. Nah. Nah. Your wife left this house. And since then, she's not yet back. And you seated here comfortably. As if everything is right. Mama, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to teach or me? Let me let me tell you. What if your wife has gone to see another man? Huh? Oh, you marry he again, me. You don't know what to do. Okay. My wife seen another man. My wife, my own wife, seen another woman. Mama, how, how? Mama, wait. Oh, hold on. Mama, hold on. Relax. They are on now. Mama, where did you get that information from? And where do you think you're coming from? What kind of question is that? I asked you for the last time. Where are you coming from? Where did you send me to? Where did I tell you I was going to? Are you ready to answer my question or not? And if I don't answer you, what's it going to happen? Adeline, you're pushing me. What do you mean? Adeline. You're pushing me! You can't do anything! You are pushing me. What do you do? Adeline. What will you do? more than you can choose. What do you want to do? Adeline. You can't do anything! Why won't you answer him? Hey! Why won't you answer him? Huh? up. Mama, I have begged you before. Anytime I have a problem with your son, stay off me. Mama, stay off my track, oh. I am warning you, stay off my track, oh, Mama. Mama, stay off! You are warning who? Mama! Who the hell do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Adeline! You're supposed to be a respected woman. You are supposed to be a good wife and not a stupid one. I don't blame you, Adeline! I blame my, my son. I blame my son that went and married a prostitute like you. You behave anyhow you like. You insult him.
every day, every now and then. Adeline, you have no respect for somebody you call your, your, your husband. I am ashamed of you. What is wrong with you? Give me hands! You, 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 you disgrace me. You disgust me. Nonsense. Ah, 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 this one pay me, this one pay me. Show me, show me, you money for me. You will tell me what your mother slapped me. Why did your mother slap me? 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 What will you do? I will bounce on you. Get me! Get me! Adeline, I will get bounce me, on you. Get me! Get me! You are causing me too much trouble in this house. You will tell me why you're Adeline, you are causing me too much trouble in this house. Me. Now leave me. Adeline, leave me. Bless me! Bless me! Adeline, I don't why want to touch you. I don't want to raise my hands. Touch me! Touch me! Adeline! Touch me! Touch me! You will tell me to do. What did you say that? Mama, it's Sebastian. Sebastian beats me up. Sebastian, I started again. No, he beats me, Mama. Sebastian beats you up. Why? What did you do? I don't know. I don't know. I was sleeping when he came to meet me. The next thing I received was a slap on my face. Mama, do you know that his mother even instigated this thing? Do you know they even called me a prostitute? What? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Sebastian's mother called you a prostitute. Mama, she... And Sebastian believed. Mama, she said you are the one that taught me prostitution. Me? Taught you prostitution? Yes. Hey! Sebastian's mother called you a prostitute and Sebastian believed. Ah, Mama, they finish you. They finish you. If you see what they insulted you, eh? I said, no, you cannot insult my mother like that. The next thing, another slap on my face, Mama. They beat me, beat me. I fainted. Hey! They beat me, I stood up again. They beat me, I fainted again. Hey! Hey! Hey, what are you going to Sebastian and the mother must see the other side of me today. They will know the stuff I'm made up of. Get back, your boyfriend. I will show them paper. I will treat them. I will treat them for up. Get, let, let. Don't, you don't have anything to worry, eh? Don't worry yourself. Let me go and make some calls. They will, they, they will hear from me, eh? Just wait. Mama, please ah, hurry. Let eh? me bring my phone. Hurry. Hey, what, what, what is all this, eh? Sebastian, insulting me and the mother. When I was telling your brother not to marry this girl, he refused. He did not listen to me. Huh? Look at the kind of problems. Every day, one week, one trouble. Hey, Mama. Well, I'm happy all these things are happening. Yes, so I'm happy. Because, but I would have confirmed that this thing. What you are saying is truth. Yes, because if, if it's not happening, he will not, he, he will not believe it. Can't you see what my son is going through? In the hands of a woman he called his wife. He's regretting every bit of it. You told him. Eh, I don't even know what to say again, Mama. Hi. Hey. Oh, say, Pigo. Huh? Hey. Ask Pusha we are here. Hey, where is your son, Biko? Where is your son? This mad woman, what are you doing in my house with all these doubts? Call your son! Not to be a woman bitter! This is the time to show that he's a real man. What do you want to do with my son? Her <laughs> question. Huh? Question that needs an answer, but I don't have your time. Where is he? Sebastian, come out if you are a man! Come outside, come outside. What's going on here? Uh, come outside, I'll answer your question. Give me a baby person. Your mates don't come, come fight. Ah, the guy will be nice. Nine be there, take him.
you. Fuck you. I'm in my husband. I'm in my husband. What you are? to go back home and start a new life. And I pray God. God, I pray you give me a good wife when the time comes. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, I know you might be wondering who I am and um, my mission to your home. Mm. Of course I do. Good. I am Evangelist Johnson. You know, I'm from uh, Umumago village. Oh, a neighboring village. Yes, sir. Uh, I hope all is well. Uh, yes, all is well. I am here to make an inquiry about a young man. Uh, he's uh, Prince Chidi Ugochuku. He is a grand prince. He has been away to unknown destination for a long time now. Even the Queen Mother has been looking for him. I want to I want to see him. Can you take me to where he is? So, he is truly a prince? Ah, didn't you hear what I said? He is our crown prince. Uh -huh. He has been away for a long time. Even his wife-to-be has been waiting to see him return. For a long time now. Did you say his wife? Oh, yes. So, can you take me where I can see him? Mm -hmm. huh? Because all, we have all been waiting. Greetings to know, good day, sir. Your presence is needed at the palace right now. Ah, I, I hope all is well. The prince is back. Ah, that's good. <laughs> uh. I tell the, uh, the Queen Mother that I will be there immediately. Excuse me. Were you not the one I saw with Obi a few days ago? And who are you? You're acting like you don't know me now. Okay. My name is Adeline, Sebastian's wife. <laughs> uh, I said, let me beg you, stay away from my husband. Stay away from Sebastian, please. My dear, I am not dragging husband with you. <laughs> Sebastian is my husband now. Get into your head. So please don't come up to me with this rubbish. Huh? You will not like what I will do to you because I will not drag my husband with you. Go and ask of me. Ask very well because you see this food they are cooking now. I'm ready to dish it to you well the way you want it. 
Stay away from me and ask questions, who? Mm. Go and ask about me. Go and ask about me too. I'm not moved by empty threats. So if you finish yabbing your mouth, you get out of my face. Say, so imagine my husband. Okay. I mean, say the carry empty. You did just say empty threats. Empty threats, you cannot do anything to me. No problem. No problem. Can you imagine? No problem. You say empty threats, Abby. So no shameless and desperate. I'm desperate for my own husband. Ah! My own husband. Stopping me, a girl like me on the road. Okay, because you carry big yash. Make it pain you. Make it pain you. Rubbish. Ah. So I'm, I'm here to see Stella. You're here to see Stella? I'm sorry you cannot see her. Sir, please, I, I really need to see her. Are you deaf or what? Stella cannot marry you. Go back to your village and marry your wife. You're married. How did he know about her? Young boy, look. Please leave. Leave and never come back, okay? Sir, the, the truth is that I am not married. There's a certain lady my mother wants to force on me, but I refused. I don't have anything to do with the girl. I'm not married. Do you love yourself? Sir, I'm telling you the truth. I, I really need to see Stella. I said leave! Leave now! Believe you can make it to you. This life that your heart desires, you must achieve it, no matter the ups and downs. You must achieve I'm sorry for taking some of your time. I just, um, I want us to have this conversation and understanding, you know. First, I want to ask. Are you happy staying here? Like, are you, are you cool with the way things are going? I'm asking you. The truth is that I am not happy because you have not been giving me attention as your wife. That, that's, that's the problem. That's why I want us to, you know, have this conversation because you are not my wife, and we will never be. My heart already belongs to someone, and not you. So you see, this is the reason you need to have everything on the reason you're here. Go in there, pack your stuffs, and leave this palace. What? Yeah. Listen, Chidi, you think I will have you bring in another woman into this palace? No way. I will not allow that. Rita is the woman that I've chosen for you. The earlier you accept her, the better for all of us. Mother, this thing you're doing is not right at oh, all. shut up. I wasn't talking to you. Are you insane? How dare you attack me that way? Rita is my daughter-in-law. And she is the future queen of this kingdom. I will not marry her. <laughs> That's your take. My word is final. Mom, can you stop whining yourself? I mean every beat of my words. Go home. You're beautiful. You're going to get someone that will value you for who you are. Not me. Excuse me. Jedi, sit down. Amara, mother, you are the one deceiving your brother. Now listen. If anything goes wrong with this arrangement, you will have me to contend with. I promise you. You, what are you?
you still doing here? Why are you causing trouble in my family? Eh? My brother has told you that he does not want to marry you. So please, get your rubbish and get the hell out of my family's house. Tell that to the Queen Mother. You said? Yes, because she is the one who decides if I should leave or stay. Oh, oh, you have the guts to walk out on me. I don't blame you. I blame my mother for causing all this rubbish. It's all right. Let me see how you get into this family. Rubbish. Stella. You have been so worried. You've not been yourself since yesterday. What is the matter? I'm just afraid for my future. Are we not treating you right? No, Auntie. No. You are. It's just that the other day I heard you say I will not be here forever. And you are right. I'm afraid thinking about it. Just wondering what the future holds for me. How do I start when I leave here? Where do I go? What surprises does life have in stock for me? Stella, my dear, I understand. But listen, the Bible says that we should not be worried about tomorrow. He knows our needs and what we need to do is to always pray. Pray. Auntie, mm -hmm. do you think it's a bad idea if I accept Chidi's proposal? Is that what you've been thinking? Okay, let me ask you. Is that what you want? I would advise you don't make this decision in a hurry. To avoid you making any mistake. It's just that I saw my mother in a dream. And she told me to accept Chidi's proposal that God has sent him to help me. And that is the second time I'm having this dream. Is that what you want? Listen, you and I know that Chidi has a woman already. The question is, will his mother accept you as his wife? You don't need stress. So first and foremost, I would advise you relax. Don't be in a hurry to make this decision. Thank you, Auntie. Put a smile on your face. That's it, that's better. Just keep the smiling on and everything will be fine. I'm trying. Just Thank keep you. it up. Hmm? Keep it up and you'll be fine. Good day. Keep it on. Did my husband not warn you not to come to this house again? Auntie. I'm sorry, ma'am. Please. I actually asked him to bring me here. My name is Princess Amara. I'm his sister. I'm here to talk to Stella, please. Please, Auntie. Don't drive them away. Let's hear what they have to say. This is trouble. Please, I... Good day, sir. Good day, sir. What are you doing here? Uncle. His sister wants to have a word with me. Please.
tell her. Don't let this man deceive you. No matter what he tells you. Like I told you, he's married. I don't know why he came here with his sister to convince you. Huh? Don't let him brainwash you. Okay? Sir, please. My brother here is not married. In fact, that is the reason we are here. I'm actually here to talk to Stella, your wife and yourself, sir. Please, just give us the audience to explain to you what happened on that very day and why he left the house in search of a wife. Please. My son went out with my daughter. Yes, my queen. Has it been long? Yes, my queen. Okay. You can go. Thank you. So both of them can leave this palace without letting me know their whereabouts. Amara, I should be more careful about you. Did mom ask you again where we went to? Nope. But I guess she's suspecting us. Well, I... Good evening, mom. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, mom. So I just um, wanted to tell you that we will be expecting a visitor here tomorrow. And who is it? A friend. Oh. A friend. Okay. You and your sister have not told me where you went this afternoon. Mom, I told you. I, I... You lied to me. And you know you did. You think I won't find out the truth? It's okay. I'll be expecting this visitor tomorrow. She didn't lie to you. And I insist she did. More reason you did not inform me before you left. Because you don't want me to know your movement. But it's okay. I will tell you that I'm still your mother. I'm the queen of this land. Mother, please. Um... I told you. What's she thinking? How would I know? My son, that girl, Daniela, she's a good girl. As you can see, she's also a beautiful girl. Mama, Mama, who is talking about beauty? We're talking about character, not beauty. If it's about beauty, I would have got married long ago now. Eh? Mama, see, all I need is a woman I will love and care for. Mm -hmm. That's all. And that woman is Daniela. I am your mother, my son. I cannot deceive you. Mama, don't you think you're running a serious advert for this girl? <laughs> this is your notion about her. Is he a real character? Anya, the kibo sipo. Anya keja mo kacharacha. By their fruit, you shall know them. This girl is a good girl. Is your sister's friend. I know everything about her. Mama. Uh -huh. That was what I thought about Edlin. Yes, that was what I thought about Adlin. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Before I landed into this where I am now. Who is talking about Adlin? Who is Adlin? Eh? How can you compare that prostitute of uh, Adlin to Daniela? A girl I watched grow. 
a good girl from a good home. Hey, Mama, uh, we're not fighting. Why I'm saying all this is because I do not want to experience Adeline in my life ever again. God forbid. You will never experience anything about that stupid girl again. You will never in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh -huh. uh, my son, now, Odogu, we have to hurry up to go and see her people. So that we will not lose her. We will not lose half another man. Mama, hmm? not the Kakosi so now. We are fast forwarding this whole thing. Yes, so we have to. Mama, slow down. Slow down. <sighs> uh, let me use my head on this. Okay, if you say I, so. I, uh, before I go and land myself into another problem again. It will not happen again. I know this girl very much, very well. Yes. I read you. Wow. You're ready to leave? Oh yes, I have to. Hmm. I have to rush there before her auntie and, and her uncle changes their mind. Hmm. What if they do? Oh, the day not try it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get going. Um, actually, mom is asking after you. Why? I don't know. Are you not going to tell her where you're going to? There's no need for that. I you don't have to be scared, okay? Scared. Stella is all mine. Go get her, go. <laughs> All right, take care. Stella is coming to this house. I can't wait. Hmm. Hadley. I'm Hadley. Back. You're back. Hey, I'm back. Are you aware that Sebastian is back to this village? He came home. Sebastian is back to the village. Yeah. How did you know? Ha. Huh. You know I'm coming from Mama Kechi's house. So I met someone who told me that he saw Sebastian. Mm -mm. Mama, I doubt. I, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't think it's true. You don't have to doubt anything. Everything is possible in this art. What will happen now is you will find out first whether he is back. If truly, which I know that he is back, you have to go to their house and see him. <laughs> you want me to go to their house? Are you afraid of going to their house? No. I, I, I'm just asking now. I, I, uh -huh. I should just go to their house. Eh, but Mama, we have to find out if, if, if he's back or not first. Where is your phone? You have to go and bring it. If he is back, eh? Hmm. You must go there. Then, go to this village. Jam, you go to their house. You must be strong for you to make it your For you to achieve all you your must dreams. be strong You must be strong Experiment. For you to make it your You must be strong, strong. You Thank goodness strong. that at last I'm about to settle down with the best woman in the world Sebastian will be surprised with the level of my achievement Stella I hope you are ready now, waiting for me to come pick you up. Here I come. Believe you can make it to you. Sweetheart, I am still not comfortable with this arrangement of Stella going to a place we don't know. I'm not comfortable with it. But what if something happens to her? How do we locate her? My love, Stella cannot be stopped at this point. Mm. Yes. Well, if she cannot stop herself, then we have to do it for her. Stop her. How do you intend to do that? Please, there is no need for us to entertain any fear. I'm not comfortable at all. So, where is she now? She'll probably be in her room, getting ready. I need to talk to her. Go and get her for me. I need to talk to her. Believe you can make it to you in this life that your heart desires. You must achieve it no matter the ups and downs. You must achieve it. You know, God, just be strong. 
were halfway there already. Just be strong, little girl. Don't lose hope. You must be strong oh. in spirit for you to make it to your in this life. Oh. You must be strong in spirit. Afternoon. Were you the one that washed my clothes? Yes, I washed them. So who asked you to do that? Nobody asked me to. I just went into your room and I saw your clothes lying dirty on the floor. So I started to wash them. They're my husband's clothes, so... Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, away. Thank you. Danella. Yes, my son. Who washed all these clothes at the backyard? Back I washed my husband's clothes, Mama. Why is it such a big deal? Huh? Oh, my daughter. <laughs> hey, Nah, I told you. I told you that she is from a good home. She's well brought up. She will make a good wife. Huh? If you want Why is she calling me? Who is calling you? Who is that? Adeline. Which nonsense are you? Give me, give me that book. Give it to me. Hello? Adeline or whatsoever your name is called. Stop calling this number. Stop calling this number. I am warning you and I don't want to warn you again. He is married. My son is a married man. He is a Mama. married man now. Mama, please, eh? can I have my phone? Stop calling that, that useless girl. Stop, stop taking her calls. Stop it. You were here and she called. Did I answer it? Huh. I just said thank you. You're welcome. Mama, we need to throw away that SIM card. We need to buy a new SIM card for him. Oh. I don't want anybody calling my husband. I, I don't want that girl calling him. I don't want to share my husband. Sh share who? I'm a newly married woman. No! I'm be sharing my home. You cannot share me. Look, see. I am standing Gidigba. No one. You are not going to share your man with anybody. Not my son. Mama, are you sure? I am very, very sure. I am very, very sure. Mama, is not picking no. And you said the mother was the person that picked the first one. Yes. She picked and she won't be never to call this line again. She was shouting. Which means Sebastian is in the village. He came back home. Hey. Don't worry yourself. I'll figure out what to do. Mama, can you tell me not to worry? For this kind of matter, it's me can't worry. Mama, I worry die. Mama, I am losing my husband and you're saying I shouldn't worry. Never. As long as I, your mother, is still alive, you will not lose your husband. Hey. Sebastian must marry you by fire, by force. And you have to possess your possession. That is the spirit. You know, go. What did I do to Sebastian? Eh? What have I done? Mama, I will not agree. Ah, no, 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 person no dump me like that. I no go agree him, mama. Good! Now you are talking like the daughter I raised. Work, Ibiar. You have to possess what belongs to you. <laughs> by fire, by force, like I always say. You know, go. Tell me, tomorrow I will go to the house. I will go to the house. Let Sebastian tell me. Let him look at me in the eye and tell me face to face what I did to him. You did nothing to Sebastian. So there is no point of asking him that question. Omura if he he's just trying to find out something to hold hand. But Sebastian must marry you. Okay, I'm not ready. You know what? Hmm. You That's go. why I just pity for this matter than that in wife. Hey, hey. If I beat Sam, see that her fatting, I shall be post her. If I beat that woman, Mama, if she talks to me in here, I will fight her. Any pimp, deal with her. I know what you can do. I trust you. Eh? I, I'm solidly behind you. You must touch his hand. You know God. Just be strong. You are halfway there already. Just be strong. Little girl. Don't lose hope. You must be strong oh. in spirit for you to make it to your in this life. Oh. You must be strong in spirit. For you to make it to in this life You must be strong, you must be strong. Who are you? I... Uh, Mom, she's the girl I told you about last night 
is she? Mom, can you just welcome her first? Oh, shut up. Answer me. Who is she? Um, she's my fiance. I brought her for you to meet her, and of course. It's a pleasure to meet you, my queen. It can never be a pleasure. Mom! Shut up. So you're the local girl that made my son reject the woman I wanted him to marry. Now listen. I don't want to ever see you here again. Get out. No, no you, you, you can't. Mom, that will never happen. Mom! No, no. Please, no, no, please, no, please no. look. Mm -mm. You don't have to mind what my mother just said. Please, no, just, just hold on. I'll, I'll sort this you out. You will not. Please. I won't let you leave. Mom! You're not going anywhere. You're not leaving this palace. No, I said no, Stella. Stop this. Don't stop this. Hey, stop. What do you want to tell me? Allow me to talk to you. Why are you? No, I won't let you go. Don't worry, mother will be convinced. You, you oh, please. Calm down. Calm down. Listen, you do not need to destroy what you've taken so much time to build. We need to take Stella out of this place now. And why should I do that? Huh? Sebastian, I am the heir apparent of this land. My mother has no right to detect who to marry or who not to marry. We're saying the same thing. Your mother's aim is to buy out Stella's mind. Can't you see that? Well, I will not let her achieve that. Then let's take her out of this place. Tango, she has accepted to marry you. Now your mother wants to be an obstacle. We need to take Stella out of this place so it will not affect your relationship with her. Come on. I don't know why my mother is doing this to me. Don't know. This is really, really painful. That's the more reason you need to apply wisdom. Yes. That wisdom. You need to apply wisdom. What rubbish? Let me see her here again. Imagine the low class person, my son, the prince of this land wants to marry. What rubbish! Amara. Have you seen what my mother is doing? Why are you doing this? This is what What do you tend to achieve? I respect you as my mother. I expect you accord me with same respect. This is not nice. Why would you chase my fiance away? Why? Can you stop telling me it's okay means what? Let's go after her. Whatever you're planning will never, ever walk. Mom, mom, this attitude of yours is getting too much. What you're doing is not good at all. It's not good. is really giving me a headache in this house. So she has been going with Chidi to see that local dog. Hmm. I'll tell them that I am the Queen Mother. And that's for Sebastian. I will deal with him.
Be murder. Are you done cooking? Yes, ma, I'm done. Should I serve your see immediately? Not now. I'll tell you when I'm ready. All right, sir. Thank you. I just want you to bear in mind that whatever your plan is, I must marry Stella. So you better tell that lunatic to pack her things and leave this house because it will never work. I'm not joking. You lie. You lie. Oh yes. Rita is not leaving this house. And as for that local dog, if I ever see her here again, you would not like my action. Mom, I see you're taking my loyalty for granted. Probably you think that I'm joking, right? Same thing goes to you. If I come back and meet that lunatic in this house, then she will know the stuff I'm made of. What happened? I don't know how to feel. I'm just, I don't know. Hey, do I look local? Local? No, you don't look local. I'm just confused. Hey? What happened? His mother said I am local and that her son cannot marry me. Local, how? No, no. Don't bother yourself, okay? Hmm? Just calm down. Stella, don't let that bother you. Hmm? You are not local, Stella. You are not. It's okay. We do not need to go to the house now. Her tension is high. And that's over people. So we need to allow tension to come down first. Please. Um, Chidi, Sebastian is right. Let us go home. Tomorrow we all shall go there and apologize to her. Okay? I just don't know why my mother is doing this to me. Leave mom out of this for now. What matters is how to talk to Stella. If I get home and meet that girl, God knows I will not spare her life. Oh, don't touch me. Chidi, she must leave. She's the one causing all the problem today. Two wrongs can make a right. It's calm sometimes. Because I don't know why my mom would force me to marry who I don't want. Outside the one your mother arranged for you. I am not part of the arrangement. I just came back to, to meet that arrangement. I already have a woman I want to marry. So I will never marry that woman my mother is presenting to me. It's not possible. But what happened to that woman? The one she is presenting? Is nothing, nothing wrong? happened to her. She's just there. But I already have someone. That's what I'm trying to say. I have someone already. So please help me talk to her. I don't like the way she's forcing the girl on me. Well, I will talk to her, but who is this young lady that Tekoya fancy want to marry? Who is she? She's, she's not from this kingdom. I, I met her on my trip and of 
course, I fell in love with her, and, and the rest is history. Oh. Okay, okay, I will talk to your mother about that. Please do, please, please. Right. I will do that. Thank you very much. Let's say go inside, you take something. Huh? No, 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 I'm all right. Why? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh. You know what? I should be ashamed of myself if I were you. What are you even doing here? You want to marry my brother? A man that detests you? Really? Please do not insult me. I did not come here on my own. Yes, your mother did. Are you not a fool? At this age, someone is forcing you on a man. And yet you claim you're sensible enough. For the last time, do you not insult me again. I've not even started. You will know by the time I start dealing with you in this house. And there is nothing you can do about it. Really? Yes. I have your mother full support. So there is nothing you or anyone else can do about it. Your brother must marry me. Never. You lie. My brother, the prince, will not, I repeat, will not marry a church rat, a local girl like you. Never. I will not belittle myself talking to trash like you. Mm. In this house, you will never step into and this house. there is house. nothing N you can do. Never. It will not happen. <laughs> What is going on here? Rita, why are you crying? Princess loved me. What? And she called me names. Amara, you did what? Mother, I did. Shut up! Have you lost your sanity? What is wrong with you? Mother, I did not touch her. She just pretending! Rita cannot lie to me. Now answer me. Why did you slap her? So I will lie to you, mother. I said I did not touch this, this thing, Shut mother! Up. Don't push me. Don't allow me to lay my hands on you. Don't! I'm trusting a stranger than your own daughter, mother. <laughs> Okay. Please have a seat. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, I'm here now. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Okay? No matter the ups and downs, you must achieve them. You know God, just be strong. You are halfway there already. Just be strong. Don't lose. I'm sorry. How did you get in here? The door was open, so I managed to come in. So what do you want? Can you please hear me out? Hey, stay back. I said, what do you want? I love you with all my heart. And I want to be your wife. Tell me where my fault is. I can correct it. The only fault is that you don't understand things. You don't listen. I can't marry you. I have someone in my life. Don't you get it? Please. Don't do this to me. Your mother promised me that you are going to marry me. 
I love you. I want to be your wife. Please, do you know. Get out. Please. I said get out. Don't make me lose it. Please, I'm sorry. Just respect yourself and leave. Just tell me. I can do anything for you just to make you happy. I, I promise I will be a good wife to you, okay? Just don't reject oh, me. Oh, you will not like me when I start now. I'm just telling you to go out. You won't hear. Please, Leave. Please. Please, I don't want to go. You mean that girl walked into your room and did all that shit to you? I'm telling you the truth. My mother is very desperate. I'm sure she was the one that sent her. Oh, your mother is not desperate, but that girl is. You really need to be careful. I wonder why you know who will. I wonder why she hasn't come to see my mother. Then we need to go see him. Honestly, someone needs to talk to your mother. Stella has not called up till now. Do you think she will still listen to me when she comes back? Stella is not your problem for now, but your mother is. Let's tackle this issue first, and then we'll know how to go get Stella back to your house. But not now. Why she has refused to listen to me? Let's allow Norway to do the talking with your mother first. And then we'll know the next step to take. Bath. That girl needs to leave your house as soon as possible. That's my take on this. You mean my son came to tell you this rubbish? Yes. Chidi is really getting on my nerves. But I will not allow him to tarnish the image of this royal family. Never. Let me ask you, who is this woman? He insists he must marry. I don't know her. But he can never marry her. Never! Um, my queen, I will advise that you tread with caution on this matter. So that you don't make mistake you will regret tomorrow. Mm -mm. Oh no. The only mistake I will regret tomorrow is if I allow my son to marry a low life. That's all. Chidi must marry the woman I've chosen for him. Period. <sighs> that is going to be hard. Very hard. Because... Because what? Oh no. No, no, no. Because what? Don't make me believe that you've been the one misleading my son. <clears throat> Far from it. May the gods forbid that I should fight the wish of the queen of this land. Hmm? Your son has no option. He must marry the woman you have chosen for him. Then make him to understand that he does not have a choice in this matter. Also make him to know that it is a taboo for him to disobey me in an issue like this. Consider it done. I shall do exactly that. It's okay. Nancy! Nancy! Yes, Your Majesty. So that he doesn't make mistakes. Chidi, Chidi is really pushing me. He's really pushing me. Yes. But it's okay. I'm counting on you. Right. Okay. Um, hello, this is for you. Huh? It's okay. Oh, great. Wonderful. Thank you so much. It's fine. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just um I'm so happy. Play your part, please. Okay? Alright. On a camera, I will always be happy. 
Thank you. Oh no. <laughs> mm. It's okay. All right. Just consider it done. Hmm? All right. Hey, I will not even tell you what my brother said about you. Uh uh, no. Tell me. Why don't you want to tell me? Hmm. I will not tell you, but even if I will tell you, not now. Why can't it be now? I want to know now. Tell me, Joe. Uh uh. Okay. My brother said you are a good woman. Huh? Are you serious? He liked you. He likes me. Yes. For real? Yes. <laughs> Monica, what are you doing here with your daughter? Is that supposed to be a question or what? No, did you hear that? I see what will happen. Eh? You have to go in there, yes, carry your bag, go inside, check whether your husband is around or not. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Go, in. go in where? Let her step inside this house. Let me see. You can carry your bag and go inside. Shift to us. You are no longer a member of this family. Out of this compound. Yeah. Now. Go inside. 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 Go Your call. Sebastian, pick your call. Eh? Have you answered? He has no answer. He's not answering me. Eh? Mm -mm. Call him again. Keep calling me. I have been calling. I have been calling. Hey. Call him again. Sebastian needs to come home. He needs to come home now. He needs to come home. Oh. Is it the need to? Hey, he's not picking up. Hey. Young man, I told you. I told you not to come here again. Go and marry the woman that your mother arranged for you. Is that too difficult for you to understand? Sir, please. There was a time you were young like me. I'm really in love with Stella. I just, I just need to talk to her. Let me just talk to her before leaving, please. How can you compare yourself with me? Huh? I'm not comparing myself. I'm only saying that you were once a young man like me. I'm in love. Please, I won't take time. Just where are you going? Just to see her inside. Sir. Please. Do you want me to call police for you? Now get out. You judge. I'm going to my house without my consent. You want to enter inside? You are lucky that I'm a pastor. You judge. Tell your daughter to open this door for my daughter. Let her go inside her husband's house now. Find out her husband. Which house? Did I hear you say her house? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Eh? You, Monica, take your daughter, your stupid daughter, out of my compound. Take her out of my compound, though, before I do something stupid. Mama, now you the full answer this one. Eh? Uh, you the answer. Mama, don't worry. I will sit down here until my husband comes. Okay. Yes. Eh? Uh, I know they go anyway. Then keep on wasting your time. Because even though heaven fall, I will not allow you to enter my house. Never! Do you know what? I'll just pretend as if I did not hear what he said. Because in our land, Asina, Hopuro Mirini in Ezoro, Kaneche Purihi, is not every drop of rain from heaven that will bring out buckets for. You got that go? But let us stay and see what will happen. The end justifies the means. I am going go. How dare you? How dare you kiss me? I am going to talk about you. Don't come on, try it. Don't you dare? Yes, don't try that again. Wait, wait a minute, calm down. What was the meaning of that? No, what's the meaning of that rubbish? How dare you slap my wife before me? Who's Have you wife? gone insane? Who is the wife? I married you! Oh. Now this is the woman that your mother brought for you! And I don't oh. care! And I will slap you again! Huh? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Now listen, I want you to take your dirty self and your mother out of my house right Yes! Now. Sebastian, for your information, oh, my oh. daughter is not a used and dumb. <laughs> you will not, as in Kochala Bible, say, hey, yeah, golo, 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 turn, okay? It's actually, you will leave her for another person to come and marry. Mbano! 
You must marry her uh. by fire, by force, and she must possess her possession. So which possession? Yes, possession. He does not want her. She should leave. Oh, she should leave. 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 You still have mouth to talk. Look at this one. Why won't I talk? If everybody talks, eh? you will talk. Leave you. my house. Why won't I talk? Eh? My, Why my won't son. I talk? Mother, 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 mother. 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 I am here for you. You my mother. I am here Why for you. you my me? mother. Why you 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 Why Stop bothering yourself. I can handle this food. Look at that. Then my mom will make it. I will handle this. You have money for them. Go on, answer your son. Follow and go. Follow and go. Answer your son. Share the family. Imagine. My wife, my dear. I beg you, people should not wait our time. We are waiting. We never call again. People will just be jobless. Who be that one? People will just be jobless. That's great. Come on, people will just be jobless. Come on. You cannot do it. Sweetheart. My love. The young man was here this afternoon. Who? She did now. Or whatever he calls himself. Oh. Stella talked about him on our way back from church. Mm -hmm. What did she say about him? Hey, nothing really. She was just having the feeling that uh, he might visit. So she was too anxious, so get home before them. Anxious? Are you sure? Yes. I think Stella is already in love with him. Look, I don't understand this. In love with him? She's in love with somebody that is already married? Is she saying that she wants to be a second wife? My love, I did not say so. I'm only telling you her feelings towards the young man. No, we will not encourage such feelings. I mean, how can she be having feelings for somebody who is already married? No, now. She can't be a second wife. Don't laugh. I'm sorry. It's just the way you're going about it. No, you, no, she can't. Sorry, my dear. You know what? All we just need to do is just to advise her and I'll let her make a choice and that is all. No, no, man. we need to help her. We need to, we need to help her. Man. She cannot make her choice this time. What is this? Eh? I think you are not afraid of Adeline and uh, her mother. Eh? Why are you talking like this? Why would I be afraid of them? Eh? How did they know I am back? Who told them I am back? That is not the issue. How do you know that you are back is not the problem here now. The problem is you have to drive them out of this compound by any means so what means do you want me to use you know how stubborn that woman and her daughter is you know these people lack home training they are not cultured at all then call the police call the police arrest them that's the only thing you will do because adeline will take if you if you keep quiet like this adeline will take her bag inside the house which will not happen that will be over my dead body no, it's okay mama I think I know what to do. All I need to do now is to go for a proper divorce and that's it. But that one is later now. Not now. What we are talking about is now. Now. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Eh? Don't you know that whoever that wishes to be the wife? Eh? Only win here, yeah? or blue wife. Enough! Yes, enough! Hey, enough! Yes, you. Stop, me. Madam, listen to me. What? This is the height of it. I want you to carry your daughter and get the hell out of our compound. Yes. Right now. Get now. out of our compound! You are a liar! You are a liar! My daughter is going nowhere! This is her husband's house. You will have to keep it safe. You will have to keep it safe. What kind of desperation is this? You are so shameless. Eh? Ask you a question. Did you and your mother come to this place to kill me? Well, we are not to die, you can die. He uh -huh. will not. Are you both this desperate? Where are you? Very, very. I don't care if you are. My daughter will be here. 
here. This is her husband's house. That is exactly what you are. I have my own mother. I can carry this box inside. Carry which box? Which box? Carry which box? Carry which box? Carry which box? You must be mad. Carry which box? You must be mad. Which box? Which box? Which box? Mama? Mama, you will go inside. Get the box. You will go inside. Mama, the box will go. Go which inside? Yeah. Go which inside? Mama, carry which box? Carry which box? Don't let me handle it. This is my house. Don't let me touch you. This is my house. This is my house. Don't let me touch you. You can't do this. What have I landed myself into? Kachidi. Chidi's out there. Settling with a good woman. And I'm here running up and down every day with Adeline, forcing herself on me. What kind of a woman is this? Mm. Are you vanished? So you think running away from home is the best solution? Is that what you think? Is that what you think, Sebastian? Is that what you think? Adeline, for the last time, please just get out of this place before I do something stupid. You have pushed me so far to the wall. I beg of you, just get out of this place. What do you want? What can you do? You can't do anything to me. You can't. But le let me ask you one question. Let's assume something happens to my enemy tomorrow. Won't you move on? Won't you live your life? Of course I will move on. Why would I move on? If you die, you die. But for now, when you see their life, bros, Namia, you go do this movement. That's my decision, you cannot change it. More they go. How did Let's go. How did I get here? May we go. Okay. You are coming. Yeah, greetings. Yeah. The Queen Mother prepared this for you. My mother? Yes, my prince. Okay, keep it there. What is it? Nothing, my prince. Come here. Who gave you this juice? Nothing, my prince. I said, who gave you this juice? Still holding this girl. I told her to drop the drink and come out immediately. Why is she wasting time? What is it? Huh? Answer me. Why did you tell her to lie to me that it was my mother that prepared the juice? Uh -huh. I did not lie to you. So who made the juice? As I'm going in there to ask my mother. I did. Why did you lie? I'm so sorry about that. I only told her to tell you it was mother so that you not reject the juice. I see. Give her the juice. Drink it. What? Uh, I don't want to drink. Why? Nothing. I just that I don't feel like drinking it. What did you add in the juice? Add? 
I didn't add anything. Call my mother. Yes, my prince. You get to understand why it's difficult for you to drink the juice that you prepared. Hmm? Nothing, just that the drink was made for you alone. Then we can always share, right? Huh? That's um, my husband. That's what you call me, right? So we can always share as, as one big family. <laughs> Don't you think so? But you can first test it. No, you should test first. What have they done to my son? That he no longer listens to me. JD wants to marry without my consent. I will not allow that. I'll trace that lady's parents and warn them. Greetings, Your Majesty. What is it? The prince asked me to call you. What happened? I'm asking you. Your Majesty, it's Auntie Rita. I was passing and I saw her. to the prince. Tell him that his mother prepared it. What did I say? Okay. You said that I should take this to the prince and tell him that his mother prepared it. Good. Go immediately. In the next 10 minutes, Chidi will become mine. And mine forever! <laughs> oh, you know what? The truth is that I hate Sherry. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> mm, Chidi. Did my son drink it? No, my Your Majesty. I told him. Good. Where is my son now? He's at the living room. Okay. Um, go. I'm coming right behind you. Yes, Your Majesty. Are you serious? Why did you not call me? I didn't want to bother you. That girl poisoned your drink. According to her, she said it was love potion, but I don't believe her. I've told mom. I've told mom is either she leaves this house or I leave. That girl is leaving this house this minute. This very minute. Mom already told her to leave. But she's still here. So what is she still doing here? What are you still doing here? I'm so, so sorry. You people should find a place in your heart to forgive me. I know what I did was so wrong, but I love Chidi. Please. Hey, shut up. Whatever they call you, get out of this palace this very minute. You're a disgrace. You came here to cause rifts between a mother and her children. You should be ashamed of yourself. I said, leave this palace, this... Guards! It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. I'll leave on my own. Then leave! Let me get my things ready. Get out, please! Foolish idiots. We are waiting, don't waste your time. Don't waste our time here. What is the problem? 
problem. Mama, hmm? Sebastian scolded me today. He asked me to stop disturbing him. And then he went ahead to go out without telling me where he was going. Mama, is it fair? Where is uh, Adeline? I don't know. I don't, I don't know where she is. Um, my daughter, I want to tell you something. I want you to understand that my son is no longer happy because Adeline is staying in this house. Yes, and I want you to bear with him any time he behaves abnormal. That's one I can do. The one I don't understand is, what is she still doing here? If he's not happy, she says she should go. Don't worry. Can't, can't, you, Mama, can't you ask her to leave? My daughter, are you asking me? Don't worry yourself. I'm on it. Eh? I am on it. Very soon, you will no longer see her around this house. Eh? I don't want you to bother yourself. Leave everything for me to handle. Meanwhile, follow me. I want to tell you something. Oh, some. Oh? Yama, don't worry. My wife, my wife. Mama, you sent for me. Please tell me what you need to tell me so I can go. No, no Mama, me, I don't like giving that girl space. I don't want any space that will make anybody come and take my space. Nem, you have to chill down. Take a chill pill. Can't you see that your mother is laughing? I'm happy. I'm smiling. <laughs> Mama, what eh? did you win, Greg? Ha, I have a solution to your problem. Yes. So you have every reason now to rejoice and be happy like me. I bet Mama shared the secret. What did they have put? <laughs> Take this. Take. Ah, are you afraid? Don't you trust your mother again? No, no, ma ma Mama, I trust you, but not before this one. Mama, I cannot kill anybody if that is what you want me to do. Nobody's blood will be on my head. I can't take it. God forbid. And who is asking you to kill anyone? Am I a murderer? Have I killed before? Have I ever told you that I've killed someone or have I ever told you to kill somebody? No, now. See, this thing is quick love portion. Yes. Immediately you put it in his food or drink or anything that he will taste. Sebastian is all yours. Mm. He will be singing your praises. And uh, Adeline, my love, Adeline, my love, Adeline, my love. He will be following you back to back. Everywhere you go, he will be following you. He will be following you. This one, it works like magic. Look. It's love potion. Love potion. They call it quick love potion. Okay. Sharp, sharp. It works like magic. Mm. <laughs> mm, thank you. Thank God. God bless you. Mm. But I need to go now. See, mm. I'm back up shit. I don't even know. Back up. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. It means good luck. And that means it will work. <laughs> it will work. <laughs> Sir, I'm leaving. To where? Where I belong. I can handle the situation. Well, I will not stop you from leaving, but um, I think she shouldn't go alone. I'll be back after I've sorted out myself in my village. Stella, huh? if you're going, then I'll go with you. Yes, if you're leaving, I'll go with you. Yes. You made this food yourself? Mm-hmm. Wow. Do you like it? You're a good cook like my mother. <laughs> Thank you. Eh, uh, whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! Mama. Sansin, my son. Mm -hmm. I can see you are enjoying the food. Oh, yeah, Mama. Eh? I don't know Daniela cooks food like this. But I told you! Mama, I'm enjoying this food. Please, mm. can you get me more soup? Eh, mm. I will. Immediately. Darling, one. Ma. 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 Ma.
What, what, what's the meaning of that nonsense? What's, not what? what's the meaning of that rubbish? I don't understand. Who invited you here? I invited myself. I invited myself. Don't, 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 listen, don't, don't tell me, don't, I should not do what? don't tell me, I want to eat that food, you want to eat what, what, what is this, give me the food, eh, mama, See, what is this, if I, if I, if I slap you, I want to eat if what, if I slap you, you change the color, did I include your name in this, you included me in your might, me, give me that food if I go to eat, if you try, Adeline, leave this place, if you try, leave this compound, ah. Adeline, Adeline, mama, this girl is trying me, ah. so this girl, this girl is trying you. Add me! Pick what? I will add this place. Add me! What do you want? Add me! What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Mama, I will give you this girl. Mama, I will give you this girl. I will give you this girl. What kind of a man? What kind of a man? What can I do for you? I am Chidi's mother, and I'm here to see you and your wife. Good afternoon, my queen. Good afternoon, Stella. Stella, I'm particularly here because of you. My daughter, please. I am sorry for the way I spoke to you the other time in the house. Please forgive me. My son has not been himself since that day. That's why I'm here to make amends. Please. Stella, please. We are very sorry for everything. My mother is deeply sorry. She has accepted that we can get married. And what about the woman she brought for you? She's no longer with us. I've sent her away. Please allow my son to marry your daughter, please. My queen, I, I forgive you. I have decided to go back to my hometown. It, it, it has nothing to do with you. No, 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 Stella, please. Please don't do this to us. You know how much my brother loves you. Please forgive my mom. Please, Stella. Please. You know, you always teach me about forgiveness of sins. to practice what we preach. You are so passionate about forgiveness of sins. Please, if not for anything, the way I suffer to get you. Please. Um, I know how much you love Chidi. Please, forget the past and forgive him. The lady in question is no longer with them according to the Queen. Please. You must be strong. You must be strong. For you to make it. You must be strong. You must be strong. That your heart desires, you must achieve it, no matter the ups and downs. You must achieve it, you know God, just be strong. 
Adeline. So you have not done what I asked you to do. Why? Mama is Sebastian. It's Sebastian. <laughs> do you know that man has been avoiding me? Sebastian doesn't even come close to me. He's been avoiding me totally. How do I achieve this thing now? Eh? Mama, I'm just so confused. He has been avoiding you. Are you not a woman? Why can't you use the power of a woman? Don't you know that delay is dangerous? Okay, the person where they want to use the power of the woman for now, so they run. How I want to hold her now? Me no feel hold her now, Mama. How I want to do her? Why are you talking like a kid? Take it, see, I'm going to There are many ways to kill a rat. The only thing you have to do is to sit down. Think. Focus. I go from now to the one. The only thing that doesn't have a remedy is death. Every other thing, there are remedies. Huh? Mama, anything you ask me to do is what I will do. I'm listening to you. Just direct me. Maybe I don't tell you my own. Tell me your own. You have to listen carefully to this thing I'm going to say now. Come near. Sebastian! Why did you leave the bathroom? Let's go a bit. I don't know the water's I'm over. <laughs> um, honey, please ignore this woman here. Let us go back to the bathroom and continue what we started. Hmm? Ignore who? Ignore who? I'm begging you in the name of the God that you serve. Avoid me this afternoon. I don't want trouble you. I don't want you. No, eh? Let me warn you. Listen well. Let it be the last time you interrupt my husband and I in the bathroom. Let it not happen again. Interrupt who? Who is interrupting who? Who is interrupting who? Get Adeline. up, let's go! Adeline! What have I done to you? Tell me, what wrong have I done to you? Why not allow me to have peace? Did I do wrong in getting married to you? You cannot have peace! You, you will not forget peace! There is no peace for the wicked. You cannot have peace! What is idiot? Now get up and go. Idiot. You are the bigger idiot. You are the real idiot. Look at Me. you. Forcing yourself on a man that clearly does not want you. You are not desperate. Screaming desperation. We'll go see who they're desperate. Ah. Bro, get up and go back. Control him now. Sebastian, he's your puppet. No, you, you have my remote now. I I want want remote remote me into the battery. Mm -hmm. Sebastian, get up and go back. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Leave my husband. Don't allow me. I'll slap you. I'll slap you. Slap me. Slap. Get out of here. You don't want to get hold of yourself. I'll slap. I'll slap you. I'll I'll slap you. I'll kill you. You're you're joking with me. Maybe I will kill this woman. I'll kill this woman. I'll kill her. You're trying me. I've not shown you my color. You are trying me. Just be strong. You are halfway there already. Just be strong. Don't lose hope. You must be strong in spirit for you to make it in this life. You must be strong in spirit for you to make it. You must be strong, you must be strong, strong in spirit for you to make it. You know what? Up till now, I've not heard from my daughter. Is it that she cannot be able to do what I told her to do? It will be shameful for me to lose this battle at this time. God forbid. It will be dangerous as well for me to leave it at this stage because I've put in enough. But I must visit her. Yes, that's the best thing to do, to visit her. Oh, thank God she called. Hello, Nne. I was just thinking about you now. 
why haven't I heard from you? Oh, it's okay. Yes, yes, you have to apply it, just like I instructed you to do. Apply any antics you can think of, okay? I'll be waiting for your call so that you let me know how everything went. It's okay. Take care too. Are you, are you asking me why? Because my brother loves you so much and he's so fond of you. Really? Yes, yeah, so... <laughs> but the only problem is that, that that devil that caught herself, Adeline. If you ask me, I would say your brother is the cause of everything. Why did you say that? Because your brother has the power to actually ask her to leave the house this minute if he wants to. But he's been too considerate, he's spitting her, that's why she's still there. I know, I know, but... He will still ask her to go, but... He does not have the guts to implement it. That is why she's there. Please, please, please. All I know is that she will go. Just just stay with me. She will go. Every time she will go. She, she will go. go. You Before I know she will be there for months and years. No, it's you that I like. She will stay with us. She will go. I'm tired of the whole thing. Yes. Smile. 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 <laughs> Smile. <laughs> okay, that's not for me, <laughs> I'll see what that will do. Alright, let me call you back. Yeah. Um I came to tell you that I'm sorry. And I I'm really sorry for everything that I've done. I've I've come to apologize, please. I want you to find it in your heart to forgive me and beg you in the name of God, please. What do you want? I just need your forgiveness. Sebastian, you can get married to anybody you want to get married to. At this point of my life, I don't care. All I need is your forgiveness. Please. Please. Adeline, you need my forgiveness. Okay. Since you need my forgiveness, I'm forgiving you. Oh, Sebastian. I know that did not come from your mind. Please. Just find it in your heart to forgive me. I've messed up. I'm even shameful, but I can't. I, please. Nah, how about now? Which kind of drama be this one now? Huh? Sebastian, I'm not acting drama. I'm just being real here. Please. Okay, I'll forgive you. Oh. If you know you are forgiving me, just hold my hands and pull me up. Is it a condition again? Mm.
um, I, I say this particular species is a very nice one. You will like it. I, I bought it specially for you. <laughs> Just try one, please. You want me to eat it? Yes. Just try it. It's very sweet too. You really like it. Are you sure it's sweet? Very sweet. Don't! Don't lick it. Mama, when did you come back? Give it to her. Give it back to her to eat! I don't want to eat mangoes now. Eat what? You must eat it all. Even if it's in the night, you must eat it. Because she knows what she did. Mama, what did I do? Will you shut up? I don't know what you're talking about. Me and my husband, we've settled. Uh, oh yes, Mama. But she has apologized to me and uh, I've forgiven her. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, she, she's packing her things to leave. Ha! She has forgiveness. After killing you. Ha! Who is killing you? I see. see. How do you mean after killing you? She poisoned this. Okay. She what? poisoned the mango. I saw her with my eyes. So you want to poison my husband? Can you imagine? You want to kill my husband for me? Eh? No, no. Mama, I... Can you imagine? Mama, I don't know what you're talking about. Will you shut up? Take it. Or eat. Yes, eat it. Eat it! Eat what? from the mangoes. If what they're saying is not true like you claimed, then have a bite of it. Collect it. Eat it. Mama, go ahead. Hey! Love potion. It's love potion to him. Love me. Can you imagine? So I did not poison. Not on my kill. I did not poison me. I did not poison me. So not hey! Don't touch me, you fool! I thought you were indeed remorseful when you asked me for forgiveness. I was, I was. I just wanted to cement this love, please. Mama, because you know... Don't touch me, you prostitute! Get out! I'm trying so hard to calm myself down. Just go inside, pack your things and leave this minute. Bam! With your mango, desperate. of the house. Hi! Hi, Chimo! Hey, what am I going to see? What led to it? How did it happen? It's a long story. I can't even talk. I can't talk. Hi! I'm so ashamed of myself. They threw me out of this woman. My If I tell you my story, you will cry for me. I forgot it. I'm gonna go 
Stella. 